what's up? It's Mike from Hello Retro. I got sort of talked into doing a pickup video from a couple other YouTubers. So I decided to jump in and do it. These are the games I picked up over the last month, month and a half or so. And let's get into it. First off, I have a little pile here. Sega Genesis games. I picked up Chester Cheetah, Too Cool to Fool for $2. Dinosaurs for Hyrule for two dollars. Good prices for the games. Um, that's for Hyrule. It really reminds me of Contra, but it's really fun. Um, this is another game I got. Super Mario Land 2. Got that for six. And I got two Sabrina animated series games for Jane. Um, a couple bucks each. I think one and three. Um, picked up Ninja Kid from a local store that I checked out. It was a really cool store. It's called Big Fun. If you're ever in the Cleveland area, check it out. Paid 10 for this. It's only worth about 12. Um, Sesame Street ABC and 123. I had ABC and I had 123. I wanted a combo cut and I got it. Um, two bucks. Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter. I paid eight. It's a pretty good price for it. Um, Star, Sox, uh, Star Fox 64. That would be a $10 purchase if I needed it, so I thought I'd check it out. Um, Resident Evil 2 for the PS1. I paid 5 bucks for this. That's a really good deal. Um, complete and all that. Um, Wheel of Fortune for the PS1. I paid a buck, so not a bad price. Um... I picked up Resident Evil for the GameCube. I paid five for this. And I already had a copy. So this might be given away or traded for something. I'm not sure yet. Um, another game for Jane. I picked up The Herbs for the GameCube. You know, Sims in the City. She's a big Sims fan. She wanted it. Two bucks. Not a big deal. Um... I got this for a buck and this for eight bucks or nine bucks for the complete Mario Mix Dance Dance Revolution. Not bad. A game I saw and I wanted, Bill of the Future for Game Boy Advance, never been opened a buck. Not worth much. Um, but I picked up a lot of Dreamcast games for two bucks each and this would be Soul Fighter, Soul Calibur, Speed Devils, Crazy Taxi, Ready to Rumble Boxing 2, and Evil Dead Hail to the King, and um, all of them are complete, and they were two bucks a piece, so it's a good price. Um, that's it for what I picked up locally. Now, I have some things I picked up online that I want to show you as well. Um, more Genesis games. I got a little lot of Genesis games for six bucks, and that's um, another Sonic, uh, Sonic 2, which is like my fifth copy. But this is a lot nicer than all my other copies, so it's getting put in a box. Sonic 3D Blast, which again I have multiple copies of. Um, but the reason I got it is because I didn't own six pack, and now I do, and I needed some new copies of Sonic games, anyways. So. Got six pack, so two bucks each. Again, not a bad deal. Um, I paid fifteen for this Game Boy Print O, but it came with the codes and it came with um some paper. So I'm excited about this. I've been printing stuff off a lot lately with my Game Boy camera. I got this one my favorites I picked up. This is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. I paid 20 for this. It's um, complete as well. Um, 20 bucks for Zelda is always a good deal. And um, now I can retire this little black case that has my loose copy in it. So this is going on my Zelda shelf. And speaking of my Zelda shelf, I got this for $10. It's a Phantom Hourglass lunchbox. I already had a Twilight Princess one on it. Now it's just acting as a second thing to balance out the shelf. 
I got it for 10. I don't plan on opening it or anything. It's sealed still. It's pretty cool. And I got one last thing on eBay I really want to show. And I'm really excited for this because someone mislabeled it. They put it as a power base when it's, um, I got it for $11.50. And that would be, like, I said, unwrapped it. My Sega Master System. Great condition. I paid eleven fifty for this. Um, it comes with the zapper or the light phaser. It comes with, of course, the AC adapter and the AV cables and a controller. And I have one game for it, which is great football. It's all it's all right. Um, if you have any games that you know for the um, Master System that are really good, please comment below because I would love to check out some good Master System games. Um, so that's it. That's my first pickup video. Tell me what you guys got lately. Comment, like this, subscribe, do whatever. Um, I'd like to thank 64-Bit Matthew and NES Goomba for talking me into doing this and that's it.